Peppa Pig Tales. Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes. Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George on a boat trip. Polly Parrot is going too. Grandpa Pig, have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! Ahoy there! Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain! Aye, aye, captain! <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Grandpa? Can I be the captain, please? OK. But as captain, you must wear this hat. Now Peppa <laughs> is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain 
but Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa! We're stuck! I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. <coughs> Whoa! Oh! Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah, uh, message to Granny? <sniffs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Pepper. And I can teach Polly what to say. Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. <laughs> Grandad Dog! <laughs> Hello, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat to rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes. Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot. I'm a clever parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Danny Dog's birthday. He is having a party. Yo ho ho! Everyone has come dressed as pirates. Yo ho ho! Pedro Pony is dressed as a cowboy. Yee ha! <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It is Grandad Dog dressed as a pirate. Hello, Grandad Dog. Call me Dogbeard. Hello, Dogbeard. <laughs> Which of ye scurvy pirates crave a ration of swashbuckling o'er the briny seas? Why is he talking funny? <laughs> That's pirates talk. If you want to play my pirate game, say arr. Arr! Is this a dangerous game? No, Pedro. Grandad Dog has promised me it will be a very safe game. Aww. But it will be exciting. So who wants to play? Arr! Here be the plan. Time was, I had a heap of gold that was mine by right, but I was horn swaddled by one cat and hog. What? Pirate talk is a bit difficult to understand. Captain Hog took my treasure. Oh! Know you, the Captain Hog is a fearsome pirate. Some of you may already know him as Grandpa Pig. Ah! Grandpa Pig! <laughs> the game is to go to Captain Hogg's hideout and get back my treasure without being caught. Hooray! Everyone is excited to be playing the pirate game. Hello, Grandpa Pig. We're on our way. Jolly good. Jolly good. Grandpa Pig and Polly Parrot are guarding the pirate treasure. Be the black galleon fast and the wind at our backs will away! What does that mean? Run to the boat! Yo ho ho! Yee haw! <laughs> oh there! Put your life jackets on! <laughs> on Grandad Dog's boat, 
all the children must wear life jackets. That scurvy dog beard should be here by now. Here's a nice cup of tea, Grandpa Pig. Oh, thank you, Granny Pig. At last. Are we all ready now? Mr. Dogbeard, I need to go to the toilet. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. What can be keeping them? Hello, Grandad Dog? I thought you said you were on your way. Yes, yes, we're almost there. It's taken a while to get my crew together. Anchors away! Full sail! Aye, aye, The children have arrived at Grandpa Pig's orchard. <laughs> the game is to get that treasure without being caught. Hooray for the, the pirates! Shush, Mummy! I hope there are no pirates around here trying to take my lovely treasure. Peppa and her friends have got the coins without being caught. It's chocolate coins. Everybody loves chocolate coins. Yum, yum, yum. Ah, got you. Grandad Dog has been caught. Try and take my treasure, would you? Tis mine. I won it fair and square. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Uh, uh, thank you, Captain Hog and Dogbeard, for the lovely pirate game. Oh. You're very welcome. Uh, oh, yes. It's been lots of fun. Happy birthday, Danny! <laughs> this be the best pirate party ever! <laughs> Numbers! It is a school day for Pepper and her friends. Children, today we will be learning all about numbers. Does anybody know what numbers are for? Are numbers for counting? Yes, Peppa. Who would like to do some counting now? Me! 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 me. OK, Pedro. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pedro has counted to four. Well done, Pedro. Can anyone count higher than four? Me, me, me! Rebecca? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rebecca has counted to seven. Excellent, Rebecca. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Candy? My mum can count to ten. Wow! Yes, after seven, there is eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. Very good. It is playtime. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit, Zoe Zebra, Susie Sheep and Pepper all like to skip. I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like ping. I like pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. Squeak! I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay. <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Peppa. I'm hula hooping. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop, hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh. How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow, that's a lot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. I'm a bit tired. I'll do the rest later. <laughs> Can you do hula hoops, Emily? 
I can do them my own special way. Emily Elephant is hula hooping with her trunk. Hooray! I think that was about 100. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to play leapfrog. George likes playing leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! <laughs> Playtime is over. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, we can all count to ten now. Very good. But we need to be playing to do it. Of course. Richard, Edmund, bring the extra long skipping rope. <laughs> Hello. I've come to collect Pepper and George. Daddy, you're too early. Oh. Not to worry. You can join in our game. Oh, OK. Is everybody ready? Ready. Counting to ten. Oh, you look tired, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm fine. I could skip to a hundred. Good idea, Daddy Pig. To a hundred. Uh, maybe to twenty. Okay, to twenty. Eleven, twelve. Perfume. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa's house. Pepper is watching Granny Pig at her dressing table. You smell nice, Granny. Thank you, Pepper. It's my perfume de lavender. It smells like your garden. That's because perfume is made of flowers. Hmm, Granny, I've got a very good idea. Really? Yes. First, I need some water. Here's your water. Right. Now I'm going to put flowers in it and make perfume. That's nice, dear. But only pick flowers from the grass, not from the flower bed. OK? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, flowers. Who wants to be in my perfume? I'm going to put you in my beaker of water. <laughs> Hello, butterfly. I'm making perfume. It's going to be the prettiest, smelliest perfume ever. <sighs> Lovely! Here is George. Stand back, George. I'm making perfume. Do you want to watch? <coughs> First, I pick a smelly flower. <sighs> Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. <coughs> No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! <laughs> Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! <gasps> Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Smells like Granny Pig's perfume. <laughs> wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny, smell this. <laughs> what is it? It 
It's my perfume. Oh, yes. It's lovely. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of anything. There must be something you like the smell of. George has found a muddy puddle. <laughs> ah, George, what have you got there? Have you made some perfume? Actually, that smells quite nice. It smells lovely. I say, that is delightful. What did you put in it, George? <laughs> George's perfume is made out of muddy puddles. Ah! Perfume the muddy puddle. Whee! <laughs> 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 Granny Pig, you smell even nicer than you did before. Yes, you should use perfume the muddy puddle more often. <laughs> <laughs> International Day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. They are dressed up in costumes from different countries. Today is International Day, when we celebrate all the countries of the world. Hooray! Pepper is dressed as France. I'm France. George is Russia. <laughs> Pedro is America. Yeehaw! Zoe is Japan. Konnichiwa! Susie is Holland. Hello! For hello, <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle. What do all the countries of the world do? They sing the song of harmony together. Hooray! I like singing. So do I. Does everyone remember the words? Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Peace and harmony. And later, we will sing that for your mummies and daddies. It is playtime. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Play nicely together. All the countries are playing in the playground. <laughs> the United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One, two, three... America, Russia, Spain and Greece are in the sandpit. <laughs> I'm building a big sandcastle. Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sandpit. Why? Because you've had your turn. You can play on the slide now. But we want to play here. <laughs> oh, dear. There is not enough room in the sandpit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? It's our turn in the sandpit. But we were here first. Is Susie being a bit bossy? George started it. Leave George alone. He's only little. <whistles> hello, hello, hello. What's all this noise about, then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. Yes, you are. George started it. That's not right. Right. Oh, dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the world. What's that noise? Oh, no. The countries are fighting. We can't play in the sandpit. Yes, we can. It's not no, fair. Stop arguing. <laughs> Susie, you're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Children, children. What is happening? <laughs> America, Russia, Spain and Greece won't share the sandpit. <laughs> Holland is being bossy. You're the bossy one. That is enough. Is this how you think the countries of the world behave? Um, 
don't they? Of course not. Sorry, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Hello. All the parents have arrived. How is International Day going? Uh, not too bad. Excellent. <laughs> Lovely. We will now sing for you the Song of Harmony. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony in all the world. Peace and harmony. Hooray! What a wonderful display of togetherness. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love singing together in harmony. All the countries of the world love singing together in harmony. Pond. Pepper and her family are having a day out. We're going to see a pond that has little fish swimming in it. Ooh. I used to go there when I was a boy. We're here. Where's the fish pond? It's in the middle of the woods. We have to walk to it. Will we get lost like we always do? Oh, oh no. Remember, I came here when I was a little piggy. But that's a long time ago, Daddy Pig. In the Olden days. Thank you, Pepper. Well, in the olden days, we started the walk by going along a path. Ah, this is the one. How do you know? There are little flowers growing here, just like I remember. Things might have changed, Daddy Pig. Oh, oh nothing changes that much. Now, we walk past some little trees until we come to a big tree. I think the little trees have grown. Oh, yes. They do all seem big, don't they? How are we going to find the right big tree? Oh! Oh, oh <laughs> it's usually me that walks into trees. Mummy Pig has found the big tree. Clever Mummy! Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it would still be here. This way, everybody. Yet. Almost there. But I'm getting a bit hungry. Don't worry. There's a cafe on the way. Oh, lovely. I could do with a nice cup of coffee. Can George and I have ice creams, please? <laughs> of course. Ice creams for everyone. The cafe should be just about here. Oh. Where's the cafe? Is it behind that rotten pile of wood? I think that rotten pile of wood is the cafe. Oh. Uh, there's not going to be any ice creams coming out of that today. Hello. What can I get you? Oh. A cup of coffee and three ice creams, please. Of course. Thank you. Mmm. Delicious. Next stop, the fish pond. This way. Oh, you don't want to go that way. That goes straight into a blackberry bush. Aha. It's the shortcut. It's the way I went when I was a boy. No. If you want to go to the fish pond, you need to go up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look, there's something glittering. They're coins. 
When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Ho, ho. That's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs>